Yes, Stacey Abrams is giving her concession speech right now in Atlanta. Let's listen in. Daddy. <laughs> it is good to be here in this moment, surrounded by your love and support. And let me begin by offering congratulations to Governor Brian Kemp. Our, so our state has experienced one soul-crushing crisis after another over the past few years. But even during these trying times, the fighting spirit of Georgia has prevailed. We've seen what's possible when we stand up for our neighbors and protect each other. We've made sacrifices. We've pitched in. We've seen each other's fights as our own, and we've done things we never thought we could. It is in the spirit of that endurance and that persistence that I decided again to run for governor. Look, I, I got into this race for one reason and one reason only, to fight. And not just any fight, a fight to save Georgia. A fight on behalf of our children and generations to come. A fight on behalf of our people, whether they know it or not. A fight for basic human rights that we should take for granted, but we have to struggle to hold on to. And a fight for the values that we hold dear and we may never sacrifice. Yeah. I got into this for a fight for what we know to be true deep down in our bones, that the state of Georgia, the people of Georgia deserve more. Yeah. Yeah. Over the last year in big cities and small towns, in living rooms and classrooms across the state, I have met thousands of people face to face. It feels like 2.3 million. <laughs> And here's what I know for sure. We come from different backgrounds, different religions, speak different languages. We have different dreams and we feel passionate about different issues in very different ways. But despite our differences, despite what people will tell us separates us, for the most part, we want the same things. We want to live in a Georgia that works for everyone. A Georgia where every person has a voice in our democracy and doesn't have to show up early to make it so. Because voting is a fundamental right, not a privilege for the wealthy few. A Georgia where we can all breathe clean air and drink clean water because we decided to use our power to fix our climate and save our planet, not drill down to take titanium out and spoil what we have in the state of Georgia. A Georgia where hope lives in the heart of every child, but it sits there, rests there along with opportunity because we invested in quality public education, a pathway to a life of full of dignity, and no shooters in their schools. A Georgia where every person can not only afford to see a doctor, but there is a hospital if they need one. They can get their prescriptions filled because drug companies and insurance companies aren't able to block it and because we've expanded Medicaid because half a million Georgians deserve access to health care in this state. That is why we fight. I, I am talking about the Georgia of our greatest imagination. And here's what gives me hope. Over the last year across this great state, Countless Georgians were ready to come off the sidelines and fight for that Georgia. Standing behind me is one of the most extraordinary women I have ever known. 